Hello, I'm Gary Quinn, and welcome to another episode of Ready, Set, Live. No matter what your goal, dream, or vision, it's always important to have faith or that higher power that will continue to help manifest whatever you want. When we surrender to the power of faith and the belief that resides within us, your life will be transformed. My guest today is the talented actor Logan Allen. At a young age, Logan had a desire to be a successful working actor, and so it is. He is currently on the second season of the hit Netflix television series, Sweet Magnolias, where he plays Kyle Townsend. In the series, his character, Kyle, navigates and tries to figure out his own path in life. Don't go away. I'll be right back with Logan. Welcome to the show, Logan. Hey, thanks for having me on, bro. I'm excited. <laughs> Good to see you again. And like I said earlier, you're growing up before our own eyes. <laughs> no, it's crazy. No, it's like I said, it's been two years, I think, since the, the first episode we did. So it's been a minute. It's been crazy. Exactly. And so during this time, I know you just uh, have the second season, which was one of the highest second seasons of, of uh, the show, Sweet Magnolias. Um, was it just a real exciting, like, because I know you put the intention at a young age that you wanted to act and now all of a sudden you're in it. Yeah. You know, um, it's, it's crazy. Uh, the journey has been wild. Um, you know, I started out just doing like small commercials and, and, you know, photo shoots for magazines and stuff like that. And, uh, and I worked my way up. I got some agents and, uh, I kind of, made slowly made my way into the film and, and tv world um i got like a nickelodeon show in 2015 and ever since then it's really been helping me out a little bit and then yeah sweet magnolias came along if you would have told me four years ago i would be on netflix i would have <laughs> laughed at your face and like it's just the whole experience is really surreal and um season one was very successful we were number one for a while and then um that came out two years ago and then COVID hit so we had to wait a little bit to film season two but we filmed that last year and uh or last uh, summer and um and I, you know season two it's always sketchy because you don't know you know what what the fan reaction is going to be you know that now that we have a fan base how are people going to react to the new season what it's going to be like um but it was we jumped to number one the day after it came out um which is just unbelievable and and the whole experience has been really crazy man it's it's a very it's very surreal but don't you think uh, actually when you were you know you said four years ago you would never believe you were on netflix but for for other people who want to be actors or they want to do something in life there was a real strength of belief or faith that you put into this to say you know what I believe I can do this because you really had to trust because you didn't know. I mean, look how it's it's appeared. No, you're right. No, I, I definitely had my mindset and I told myself I will get to the level I want to get at. But when you you know put all that the, the hard work that, you know, you, you put into it every single day. And like I said, it took me five years or I've been acting now for nine years, but, you know, five years in the movie and, and film and TV uh, area of the industry. It took me five years to get on Netflix. And um, so while I knew that that's the goal I was going toward, now that I finally reached it, it's, it, it is surreal. And, and like, and it, but it's not though, because I knew I would get here, but it's still surreal being like, you know, doing press and, and, you know, going through Netflix and seeing myself there. It's, it's kind of weird. Sometimes I forget I'm on Netflix and I'll be just going through, you know, watching movies and stuff. I'm like, Oh, that's my face right there. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's weird, but uh but yeah, no, I, I did have my, my, my mindset was I want to be on Netflix. I want to get to that level. And it took a long time. And now that I'm, I'm actually here, um, you know, new goals have sprouted up and, and, uh, now I'm, I'm reaching for first for like a whole new milestone. And, um, but yeah, it definitely was a long journey and, uh, it was a tough one, but I'm, I'm finally glad that I'm here. Well, what are some of your new goals that have been uncovered in these last couple of years? So for me, I'm wanting to do a lot more films now. Um, the only two movies I did was with uh, Burning the Dolphin 1 and Burning the Dolphin 2. I haven't really done any since then. Uh, I've been doing a lot of film or TV, um, with like episodic things. So, you know, it's 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 different. Film and, and TV are two totally different things. So I want to branch out and do more film because it's a whole new experience. Um, 
So I definitely want to branch out and do that. I want to jump into some different genres. I want to do some horror, which would be really fun because I do a lot of, you know, family drama, uh, stuff like that. So I want to branch out and do some horror. I would like to do a comedy as well. Um, so for me, I want to branch out and do more films. And, and that, that's my goal right now is to eventually do that. Um, and, uh, and every year I set like a certain amount of projects I want to get done. Um, you know, uh, so what I do with my goals is I obviously have my mental goals, right? And then of course my, my career goals, right? So when it comes to my career goals, um, I really, really try to focus on um, what I want for that year. I don't try to look too far ahead, um, but the, the, so sometimes I do look ahead and kind of like, you know, what I was telling you about earlier, I wanted, like I said, I wanted to be on Netflix. So that was like a long-term goal, but I don't have many long-term goals because I feel like you, all, all you have to do is take certain steps and you'll get there and just take it one step at a time. So what I try to do is, is map out that next step I take, but not that step after that, because I know that step will come to me. It'll, it'll, you know, everything will fall into place. It'll all happen. And all that does for me is make me more anxious personally. So I want to make sure that I'm only looking, you know, um, looking at the, the next step so I can, you know, focus on that and make sure I get there. Well, it's also trusting in the now at the moment where you are is the best time. And I think you've had so much experience of being on the set of working as as the character, Kyle. Um, have you found that that was a correlation of the two of the real Logan and Kyle? Yeah, um, you know, Kyle and, and, and I are related in a lot of different ways. We have a lot of, of uh, a lot of similarities. Um, he's an actor himself. He's a middle child himself. Um, so those aspects were, were really uh, easy for me to, you know, to dive into. Um, but there's also a lot of stuff that we obviously differ in. Um, but uh, definitely being able to actually relate to a character makes everything so much easier because before every scene you have to mentally be in that moment with whatever you're doing if it's a really emotional scene you have to get emotional you have to make sure that you that you're not you're not yourself getting emotional but you're this character getting emotional so it's like a whole psychological thing that that goes on um so uh but obviously being so being able to relate to a character makes it way easier to get into character before every scene so um, yeah, diving into Kyle was so much fun and he's a really, really fun character to play because there's so many layers to him. Um, you know, cause on the outside, he seems happy. He seems like he's, he's really nice and caring, but he doesn't focus on himself. So he has a lot of these, you know, internal uh, emotions going on that he's, he's trying to map out and he doesn't have many people to go to. So he has these crazy bursts where he just, you know, uh, can't hold it in anymore. Um, and so it's really fun to play him because even though if you do a scene where he's happy, you have to make sure that you know that in the inside, he's really struggling with a lot of different things. So he's he was a really fun character to play because there's so many different layers to him. Did you find that this uh, from doing the first season to the second season that there was a sense of ease or confidence that you had in the second season that you could be more real or more of the character? You know, that's a really good question because I feel like it's kind of, I don't know, it, it was easier, but it was harder because even though it was easier for me to know the character, because I know Kyle, obviously, because mm -hmm. um, I, before, okay, so every time I get a script and every time I get a new project with a new character, I break down that character, really, like, I go really into depth and um, it takes a while uh, before we start filming, but obviously I don't need to dive back into the character as much with season two because I did it with season one. So, so it was easier in that aspect, but but season two just dives into a whole nother side of Kyle. So it was definitely tough to, to kind of branch out and, and all those emotions that he was keeping inside are finally starting to come out. So it was, it was a whole new experience to be able to touch on those different emotions and uh, to experience, you know, experiment with the character a little bit. Um, so yeah, you know, it, it was definitely harder, but it was at the same time, easier in, in some senses if that makes sense and you know what's great about you logan you're you're in it at such a young age and i think that's so fortunate because i've i've had the opportunity to interview some really well-known actors that have all been nominated for academy awards or i've met them and they're really present when you meet them or you interview them it's so refreshing to see they bring all of themselves to you in that moment um, and so I think 
for any young actor or any actor, I mean, that's the key to be present. And I, I said that about you when I first met you years, a couple years ago. I said, wow, I believe you have this gift just because, and not everybody has it. They have to, you know, they have to work at it. Um, is there anything you do to get you into that mode, like meditation? Do you do any kind of prayer, any kind of energy work that you you sort of like just open up? Yeah, um, I you know what? I, I think early on, um, for me personally in my career, it definitely took me a minute to really learn how to do that and dive into a character. And because before every scene, you have to make sure that you – you're in, the, in character, obviously. So it is a whole process. Now, for me personally, I don't, now I don't do any meditation or anything like that. I just take a solid 30 seconds. Uh, yeah, about 30 seconds to kind of just relax, just kind of get away from everything and kind of like, just, I, I don't, it, it's kind of hard to explain. It, it, every actor knows what I'm talking about. It's hard to explain, but there's just this, this moment of where you're like, you're not there. You know what I mean? You're, you're getting into the character. You're almost in a whole other place if you're trying to, to work through these emotions you're thinking about all the emotions that this character is feeling what happened before this you know what i mean why is he feeling this way what what led up to this moment there's a lot of different things that um that you're thinking about in those 30 seconds but really it's just you getting away from logan and getting into kyle um that's really what that 30 seconds is for me um so early on it was definitely more difficult for me because i was still experimenting with it a little bit and trying to figure out what works for me because I do know some people that do meditate and that are method actors that like really get a character and, and they're in character the whole time, which is really amazing, by the way. I love that aspect. Um, but for me, luckily, I've been able to learn how to easily go in and out um, just with a quick 30 seconds for me to, to dive into the character. Yeah. And I think, you know, the the main thing is to continue to learn and to nourish your career because everything in life is about experience. And that's why, you know, working, you know, on the second season, it's given you a boost of confidence that you probably didn't have the first season because you feel relaxed, you know your character, you know the set, you know the director, you know, so I think that's so uh, lucky for you to be able to be in that space. Um, if you had a, a wish list of saying, oh my God, Gary, I would love to work with these people, who would that be? Gary, that's a good question. Uh, there's a lot. Because you know, it is a wish, you, you a desire. Yeah. You put it out there. Yeah, um, that's really tough. There's there's a lot. Because um, one thing I love about being an actor is, like you said, you're always learning. Every time you meet a new director, uh, a new castmate, they have their own techniques that they use when diving into a character, when approaching a scene. Um, so it's always cool to learn new things from them. And uh, you can even sometimes apply that to yourself. You know what I mean? If it works for you. So I love meeting new people and seeing their different techniques. Um, you know, I would love to work with Christian Bale just because I really admire his acting style, what he does, his just, I don't know. He puts everything into every role he does. You know what I mean? He doesn't ever, you know, Christmas tree it. He like Correct. really seriously dives into every role and just it, it, it's insane. So I love that, that aspect of him. Adam Sandler, I would love that. I'm a huge Adam Sandler fan. Right. I know there's like two totally different actors, um, you know, but I, I don't know. I watch every genre because that's another thing. Every genre is way different. It, it, every, every genre, everything from the characters to the approach to the feel on set. Uh, to the feel when you're watching the, the the film or TV show, it's so different. And a lot of people think it's kind of the same thing, but it's really not. There's a big difference with it. So I, I would love to to meet different actors from from different, you know, or that different actors that focus on different genres, if that makes sense. Um, man, yeah. Uh, so Adam Sandler and, and Christian Bill, for sure. Um, man, there's, gosh. Man, I, I could see you. So I could many. see you with those those two guys. Yeah, and they no, probably, I, dude, yeah. I would love that so much. I like seriously, because once again, like Adam Sandler is a comedic actor. I want to go into like maybe do a comedy movie. You know what I mean? That'd be really fun to do. And then Christian Bale obviously does a lot of serious, dramatic, you know, films that he does a great job with. And I love to dive into, you know, a film aspect of, of, of that, of like a drama, you know, type film as well. Have you ever thought about, um, I know you had mentioned uh, that you were interested in, 
directing and possibly writing uh, as a career also to to sort of connect even deeper into the into the entertainment world have you have you had aspirations or watched the directors on the set yeah um i ask questions all the time um last time well for sweet magnolia season two they did like a few like writing not workshops but the the main the main showrunner cheryl she's also the main writer and she uh invited a few people um and it's like a little meeting kind of and uh answered whatever questions they had when it came to writing and, and norman who is an executive producer on the show and also directs a few episodes he did like a director one so it, i went to both of them and uh it was really informative and uh you know, everybody on set wants to eventually get on the directing side and writing side. Not not everybody, but most people do, um, because that's what they aspire. That that's why that's why they're there on set in the first place. It doesn't matter if they're a prop person or, or uh, you know, they're a light or, or behind the camera. They want to eventually try out directing and writing and and that aspect of it all. So, um, and I'm the same way. I eventually want to go that way as well. So it was really nice to see Cheryl and Norman uh you know do those little workshops or whatever for us and and i really learned a lot personally so every time i'm on set i really pay attention to like when they do blocking which is where like they walk through the different motions we're going to do where our marks are and when they do it with the cameras and everything so i love watching that aspect to see what they're talking about what they're looking for what works what doesn't work so because there's nothing like a first-hand experience being on set you know you can go and go to acting classes and workshops, but when you're really there on set and seeing these people, these really, really talented people um, do do the work, it's, it's, there's nothing like it and there's nothing better than that. So I definitely take advantage of it and, uh, and really pay attention. And I, I love watching what they do. Yeah, no, I think it's important to just continue watching all the movies that you can and really absorbing everything from every actor and really watching them because I believe you learn just by watching. Um, over this last six months, um, what have you been, how have you been occupying your time at home? Yeah, uh, these last six months, well, I remember we we finished season two uh, almost six months ago. And then a week after that, I went out to Albuquerque, New Mexico, and we shot Stranger Things season four, oh, which excellent. is really fun. Yeah, and I shot that for two months, and then uh, and then we came back home. But uh, but since then, I'm I'm in my senior year of high school right now, and I have two more classes left, so I'm pushing through. I'm trying to get that done, and uh, and I, I just I, I wanna wanna get rid of that and get that out of the way, so I can kind of focus on my career for a minute. Um, I really haven't had that time to do so. You know, it's really hard to balance acting and, and school together. You know, it's not Absolutely. Easy, so. Have Have you felt that people at school? They know you as Kyle or they or do they treat you different or is it pretty much they go, oh, yeah, he's the actor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, uh, there's a lot of people. Uh, some people call me Kyle, um, but they just do it like in a joking sense. Um, a lot of people obviously do know who I am because of the show. And uh, the main reason is because their moms watch it. Uh, <laughs> it, it. You know, Sweet Magnolias is a mom show. So uh, I've got a lot of parents that that sit down and enjoy the show. Uh, so uh they see you know they walk in the living room and see their parents watching the show and their mom enjoying it uh which is funny so they they kind of know me from that but um but yeah no i i do you know uh, i meet people every day uh i get recognized which is really really cool i love meeting people and meeting fans all the time it's it's really really exciting man i love that aspect of it well these moms probably all want to invite you for dinner at their houses so they can introduce you to their daughters or like oh i would love logan to be my daughter's boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> no it's it's so funny um yeah that's actually they've I, I see dms all the time they're like oh you'd be perfect for my daughter it's so funny man it's it's hilarious um so I do get the DMs like that. It's it's amazing. And what, how do you get out of that in a nice way? Because everybody would be wanting to invite you 24-7. You know, I, I just say thank you. I'm flattered. Thanks for the support. Uh, yeah, you know, because you don't, like I said, you want to like be nice about it. You don't want to be, you know, like, oh, no, I'm, I'm good. You don't want to be like that. But uh, but no, I, I, I just say I appreciate the support because I really do. Like, like you said, the show's doing so well. And it's unbelievable to see where it's at right now, and especially for a season two. So being able to see the success it had and 
it's uh it's it's really really awesome and obviously we couldn't do it without the fans so uh, i i really do appreciate i say it all the time like i i say i appreciate the support every single day and they probably think they probably think it's old by now but like seriously i just no i think it's great we, we, because... could, we wouldn't be here without the fans you know what i mean they like really run the show so absolutely really, you have like, to be in so gratitude much. because they love you sometimes they believe you're kyle but you know, it's still an honor to be in that position because it, it is a platform that people are if, if you don't have fans, then you don't have much audience. You're 100 percent right, man. So I try to interact with them as much as I can. I do Instagram lives all the time and Good. invite them on. That, that's really fun to do, too, is when you do an Instagram live, you invite someone on and they're not expecting you to actually invite them on. So they're just starstruck. Uh, it's it, it's really crazy. Like that people feel that way about me too. You know what I mean? Like this is like, I mean, we can dive deep into this, but like it, it, that, that aspect's so strange because it's like, you know, you forget that you're, you're popular in a sense, you know what I mean? So I get starstruck all the time when I meet, you know, famous people, but then I, I, it's like, man, these people feel the same way about me. So Correct. there's that whole aspect well, that's very surreal as well. I, I think what you have to learn and I've, grown up with famous people all my life and I understand that they're just people and when you see someone you know I had one actress I used to go to all these events with and we'd be walking in the supermarket and people would want photos and autographs and it is a bit overwhelming and then I believe as an actor or anybody in the in the in the fame position that you have to really feel solid inside because at some point you don't know if they like you for Logan or do they like you because you're famous, you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, that, that there's definitely is an aspect of, of, of that for sure. Um, me personally, I have an approach that, you know, I just, I, I, I don't try to think about that at all. Um, luckily I'm a pre, pretty easygoing person. Um, you know, I just, I, I kind of just go with the flow and, uh, you know, I, I, um, but I, I do appreciate everything. And, and obviously, like, like I said, obviously it can be overwhelming and, and, and actors and, and famous people overall, they are kind of dehumanized, I guess, in a sense, um, people do forget that they are human. So that, that, that you're right. That is the, the point I was trying to get to is like, you forget that, that those people are humans. And I guess people probably think the same way about me too. So there is that aspect that's really interesting, but, uh, but yeah, man, no, yeah, I, I, there definitely is. Um, I feel the same way too. It's, uh, it's definitely really interesting to be in this spot and to be able to experience it. You know well, what I mean? I think, because yeah. not it's, many people do get to experience this. So the, being able to actually like understand it from like a firsthand experience is really interesting. Indeed, and and I do believe that when you are authentic and you are yourself as Logan, that's what makes you shine. So don't ever lose that charm or that energy of Logan because that's what puts you in the seat in anything you do exactly exactly just be yourself be who you are and that that's exactly right dude that that's my approach to life in general and i'm myself and uh and hopefully everybody likes me you know i'm just gonna i'm gonna be myself and, and enjoy my life uh the, the way that you know live my life the way i live it so answer um, these totally right. um, one word questions what does love mean to you what does love mean to me? Uh -huh. um, I think, well, I think a love is, is a bond. I think, I think that that's a good way to describe it. Love is a bond um, because love, you can love anybody. Um, I love my family. I love my supporters because I have this bond with them. Um, I mean, that, that question can be answered in a lot of different ways. I, I think for me though, it, it's a bond. It, it's that relationship that you have with that person. I love my friends, you know, um, love can be broken down into a lot of different categories too. It can be a love of like attraction or it can be a love of like friendship. You know what I mean? So I think that it really boils down to that bond, that relationship that you have with that person. Um, and, and it being love, uh, is obviously a very, you know, um, a very strong bond, you know, someone that, that you go to someone that you always check up on, you know, I try to check up on people as much as I can. Um, you know, cause I, there was a time in my life where I didn't do that. You know what I mean? I was, I was focused on myself a little too much that I kind of forgot about everybody else around me. And, you know, there's people that go through a lot of stuff that, that you don't see, you know what I mean? That they try to hide. So, you know, so for the people that, 
that I truly love, I reach out to and see how they're doing and, and see how everything's going. And, and uh, because those are people that I love and, and respect. And you know what I've noticed with, with the, the more, let's say, people who are super well-known, um, they may have all these Emmys, all these Academy Awards, but they still have gratitude and kindness. And I'm so impressed to meet someone. I met uh, the actor uh, Sir Kenneth Branagh, who did Belfast the other day at his event, at his screening. And I was so moved by his movie, Belfast, which is nominated for all these Academy Awards. But he was, so, and I said to him, your movie inspired me because it's all about love and compassion and joy. I said, that's what I teach. And he was so moved and so nice, Logan. He was, it was just like, you just wanted to, you know, be in this man's energy because he was so present and I'm always so, I admire that because it, there was no, you know, facade, I'm so famous, I'm this. You know, he was just being in the moment of real. And I think that's what you have to remember as you move up the ladder, because I know you're going to do great things. I always felt that from, from the beginning when I met you. You have this electric energy inside and this inspiration so you have to continue to believe receive and go on with everything you do because i see great things for you uh, my friend and i and i want you to just remember that because um you know when people around you give you that that push it, it lights up your energy and and you've got it logan so you know, that's that's exciting. I'm exciting to see you as you progress. For me, it's like watching, you know, a garden grow. Right, right. And and what you just said, man, it all kind of goes back to you being yourself. You know, that guy was being himself. He was being true. He wasn't trying to be fake. And and uh, there are a lot of people out there that that do try to be fake. And and you obviously see it hurt themselves. You know what I mean? Um, or themselves. So to so me personally, yeah, I'm being myself, man. And and I really appreciate the kind words. Seriously, I try, you know, I, I, I push myself every day, try to get better, um, you know, always trying to improve, learn new things. I think that's really important. Excellent, Logan. Well, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you. I think you're dynamic and you're going to just do amazing things in, in this in this world, not only entertainment, but just in everything with humanity. Um, people can watch the second season. They can download the first season and the se second season of your uh, show, Sweet Magnolias. And um, and and yes, so keep the keep the energy. And I am so happy to have you back. And uh, all is good in the Logan Allen world. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it, Gary. Thank you, man. All right. Thank you so much. I'm Gary Quinn. Join me for another episode of Ready, Set, Live. Until next time, be well.